have been searching through the night for two men who went missing off the coast of Florida. One of them is from our area. He's a Fairfax County firefighter, Justin Walker. They're also looking for Walker's friend, Brian McClooney, who's also a firefighter in Jacksonville. Matt Gregory joining us now with the very latest. And Matt, they made a big discovery yesterday, which kind of, you know, became the lead. It really buoyed some hopes, Annie. Over the night, uh, the Coast Guard actually expanded their search from Port Canaveral all the way up to Charleston, South Carolina. And the family of the men are holding on to hope that they're still alive. Hopes that gained weight when the searchers found a gear bag from the boat. Off the coast of St. Augustine, Florida, family and friends gather for support and prayer for the two firefighters missing at sea. Jacksonville's Brian McClooney and Fairfax County firefighter Justin Walker. The two were last seen Friday morning in these pictures. The last shots of the boat before they left for their fishing trip off Port Canaveral. He's a survivor though. He's probably has bucketed some water in his cooler by now and they're eating sushi. So I'm not, I have no doubt that he's keeping himself as healthy as he can. Justin Walker's wife spoke to us by phone as Coast Guard efforts ramped up. Through the night, the Coast Guard search expanded up the coast to Charleston, South Carolina, covering around 50,000 square miles. But did crews make a breakthrough? During the search Monday, 50 miles off the coast, searchers found a tackle bag. And on Facebook, the wife of the Jacksonville firefighter says it's from the boat, and she thinks it's a clue to finding both men. And this morning, the search continues for two men who would risk their lives for others, now finding family, friends, and even strangers doing it for them. Him and Brian are the most compassionate people, and I, I think that's really what's brought all these people to feel. They have, you know, they, they need to do something because they know that these guys would do the same for them. Fairfax County Fire and Rescue are taking donations to help in the search, and they say that any funds will be sent to Florida to buy fuel for the rescue efforts. Annie, back.